According to pilots in numerous sectors, the Karathi have ceased the time-honored practice of taking ejected pilots prisoner by plucking them out of space's vacuum and tractoring them aboard support ships. Instead, they have been firing on the defenseless flyers, murdering them in cold blood. According to pilots in numerous sectors, the Karathi have ceased the time-honored practice of taking ejected pilots prisoner by plucking them out of space's vacuum and tractoring them aboard support ships. Instead, they have been firing on the defenseless flyers, murdering them in cold blood. High tech, the old adage goes, is never cheap or easy. Well, Confed Technoids have again pushed the envelope on the bleeding edge of technology with the rollout of the new Excalibur fighter. Its advances range from superior ground fighting capabilities to enhanced weaponry and acceleration design. The Excalibur was designed specifically to outfly and outfight the Kirathi Bloodfang. Inzwischen verzichten die Kirathi darauf, unsere Piloten, die sich in letzter Minute per Schleudersitz in den Weltraum katapultieren konnten, in Gefangenschaft zu nehmen. Die Kampfpiloten werden nun nicht mehr von feindlichen Schiffen entführt, sondern von den Kirathi abgeschossen, während sie hilflos in der Luft hängen. Mord an Wehrlosen nennt man sowas wohl. Selon certains pilotes se trouvant dans divers secteurs, les Kilrati ne garderaient plus en captivité les pilotes éjectés lors d'un engagement. Je vous rappelle que l'usage était de récupérer ces pilotes dans l'espace et de les faire prisonniers. Au lieu de cela, les Kilrati ont abattu ces hommes de sang-froid, des meurtres abominables et inqualifiables. He's loving hands. I can tweak anything and make it run a little better. Of course, and a little grease never hurt. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't need me now, but there's going to come a time when he's flying a paste and glue special and then see what kind of servicing he gets. I bet you'd like to take her out for a shakedown spin. You know, if you swing by at the right time, you just might find the key in the ignition. Hey, Colonel. Hey. Pull up a chair. Oh, nice seat. Let me know if I'm out of line here, but the word is there's a test pilot flying in on one of the new Excaliburs. Is that true? Oh, Command doesn't tell me everything. I hope it's true. I can't wait to get my hands dirty with one of those pups. <laughs> you really like your job, don't you? I just hope the test pilot's not some priest that won't let me touch his equipment. <laughs> I gotta give it to you. You really get to the point. Yeah, well, I never really cared much for gray areas. That's why I do what I do. Either an engine part works or it doesn't. Shane's don't lie. Not as much as people do, anyway. Should be a little hard on people. They gotta pass inspection, same as anything else. Of course, I got certain hours for that. And do we keep this schedule posted, Chief? <laughs> do you? <laughs> Only for a select few, sir. Still 
defiant turn of terror. If we were to offer coexistence with your kind, would you not accept it? The Kilorati do not coexist. No, and now that the tide has turned in this war, your defiance is a pathetic and useless gesture. You bore me, monsieur. Disintegrate me so I might join my comrades. Disintegration is not for you. Your fate will be different. <laughs> appreciate the honor that I am about to bestow her. She is not only a great warrior, but her lair mate is the heart of the tiger. Enough. You are not to blame for either. Some would disagree. This is Colonel Christopher Blair. Report to Admiral Talwin. The wreckage of the Concordia has been located on Vespas off the Mistral Coast. Evaluation. Total loss. You can't live your life for the approval of one man. Anywhere from Angel. Mom. Is that the official line? I know how much she means to you, Lenny. Is there something wrong with your hearing, Colonel? No, sir. It's just that I... The TCS Victory is a fine carrier with a long history of service to the Confederation. Yes, sir. A very long history, sir. Ship assignments aren't open to debate, Colonel. Of course, I realize that the accommodations may not be what you're quite used to. Well, sir, I didn't mean to suggest that... The Victory will benefit greatly from having a wing commander of your stature and experience. Thank you, sir. But can't we at least discuss the... Now that we have the Kilrathi on the run in both the Gardell and Morpheus systems, I can afford to shift you to the victory in Orsini. What I am trying to tell you, Colonel, is that things are looking up. The Confederation has been making some very positive strides. Dismissed. <laughs> Sir, about my request. Yes. But it came as a bit of a surprise to me. As you know, Colonel Devereaux's status is on a need-to-know basis. Your shuttle is waiting. Yes, sir. several densely populated sectors, Confederation spokespeople insist that humanity maintains the upper hand in its galactic struggle with the Karathi. However, our sources document a consistent underreporting of Karathi incursions, as well as civilian and industrial losses. There are even reports of Confed plans for a doomsday evacuation of Earth, 
replanting the seeds of humanity in a distant galaxy. The question is, who would go? Who would be left behind? And most importantly, who is making these decisions? Welcome to the TCS Victory, Colonel. Thank you, Captain. Better known as Tin Can Sally. It warms my heart to see you again, Colonel. But I must excuse myself now, as your duty here takes precedence over our catching up on old times. Thank you, Hobbs. We'll talk later. Yes, I know what you're thinking. She's no Concordia. Well, neither is a Concordia anymore. Yeah, terrible loss. My sympathies. However, you're in my home now, and I'll expect you to wipe your feet every time you come in. I've been with the Victory most of my career. I was communications officer during a maiden voyage. Well, sir, I'll admit I wasn't looking forward to the assignment, but now that I see you have a pilot as fine as Ragnar Hollis on your crew. Hollis? Yes, he's my second in command. He's not flying? At his request. I know all about his exploits with you, Colonel. But here, no one will fly with a Karathi on his wing. What about his exemplary record? That must stand for something. It was his request. <sighs> Captain Eisen, I'm not going to tell you how to run your ship. But I am going to insist that Hobbs is reinstated to the flight roster immediately. Well, that's admirable, Colonel, but uh, who... I will, sir. I'll fly with him. He's the best wingman I've ever had. 